to the Antisocial Planet, and today we are watching episode 18 of Bleach, and I'm not gonna lie, the last episode was a lot for me. I spent most of it curled up in an emotional ball. I almost cried for like 10 minutes of it. It was a lot for me to take. But we ended off the episode with Ichigo being mostly fine. Ishita went home. He seems fine. Probably got his craft supplies. Rukia has left to the Soul Society and we have a bit of a time limit before her execution, so that's worrisome. But it looks like Ichigo is finally going to get some actual training on how to be a soul reaper, which I've been waiting for since, like, episode three. <laughs> I've been wondering, like, how does he know how to fight? He just sort of runs in and swings a sword and hopes to hit something. And that seems like not the best way to win fights. So, Urahara is going to give him some training. And I'm hoping that it's going to be a bit of a comedic time. I hope that there's going to be some laughs. I hope that we're going to learn some more about Urahara, who he is as a person, because I don't know anything about his fighting style. I don't know anything about, like, what he has done with his life up to this point, except own a shop. Uh, he always seems to know a little bit more about what's going on than everybody else. So I'm very interested to just spend some more time with him and maybe learn some more about who he is as a person, even if it's just like personality traits. Um, he has the mysterious kitty, which I'm still like on edge about. I never trust a cat in an anime. And I'm hoping that we're going to see some more of Urahara and Chad. They were the ones that Urahara saved when they were attacked by the Hollow invasion and kind of gave them all this information about what Hollows were and Soul Reapers and that kind of stuff. We don't really know how much he told them because it happened off screen, but I hope that we're going to get some more of them exploring their abilities, a little bit of training with their abilities. I want to know if they actually want to fight Hollows and be a part of that world, especially since they knew Rukia and now she has gone to her execution trial thing. I think at least Urahara will want to help out. She seems like a very kind-hearted person and her magic seems to be based around barriers and protection and healing and stuff. I know there's some like offensive stuff with it too, but it seems to be mostly that. So I think that she especially would want to help out Ichigo in this context if she knows about it. Uh, at the moment, Ichigo doesn't know that Chad and Orohime have their spirit abilities and that they know about Hollows uh, to the same extent as he does. So there's definitely a lot of secrets and, and pieces that are kind of set up but need to come together. And I don't know if that's going to all happen in this episode, but I feel like it's going to happen before the end of the season, which we are so close to, and I'm not entirely prepared mentally. My emotional state has been completely wrecked by the last couple of episodes. I'm just going to be distraught. Also, before I get into the episode, I just wanted to say we passed 50 subscribers. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. Um, hello, new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. There are a lot of amazing people here, so uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing if you're recently subscribing. Um, thank you to everybody who's been leaving comments. I read all of them and I try to respond to all of them. Um, I love talking to you guys in the comments and it means a lot to me that over 50 of you have decided to spend time with me. It's very exciting. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for that. And with that, 
let's get into the episode. In three, two, one, go. Uh, I don't have Totoro today, so I hope that this isn't emotionally stressful because I'd have to get up and get him if it turns out that way. <laughs> oh. I really hope that this episode is funny. I just need some, you know, anime comedy. Relax me a little bit. I know we're worried about Rukia. I get it. But if we could just have some anime shenanigans for like 22 minutes, that would be amazing to me. Yeah. Shouldn't you be training? You have like a time limit, right? <gasps> they don't remember her. I bet Chad does though. I bet Orihime does too, because a bunch of them like didn't remember supposedly about the hollow attacks, but then we found out that they did remember, so probably more than remember than you think, Ichigo. An odd pep talk for summer vacation, but okay. Yeah, Ichida might still remember. Uh, I don't like the water either. I know that's probably weird, but it's just like, it's a lot of effort to swim. I could just not have to swim through water. Okay, so summer vacation, he's gonna do some major training, save his friend. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. See? I was like, she's gonna remember. Good, we're finally getting talking, sharing information. I mean, she has family. <laughs> it's a pretty good impression, actually. Hi, Chad. And the cat. So we are going to get to see some stuff from other perspectives besides Ichigo. <gasps> Exciting. You look a bit rough, though. I don't know. He doesn't seem terribly compassionate towards her. I don't know what the history is, but...
Renji seems like a fairly nice person, though. I feel like he wants Rukia to have the best outcome she can, given the situation. Ooh. That's a heck of a ladder. Why is there a giant cavern under his tiny shop? Oof. This is the first time we've seen him with a chain though, right? Mm, right, he's had some damage. We're fighting the little girl. She's probably got some skills. Because we've seen her fight a little bit before now. Ooh. Graceful. I was gonna say, I'm like, it probably isn't gonna work the way that he says it is. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> Oof. I mean, she's got a bit more training on you. Ooh. 
Yeah, he's really fast when he could use a lot of his spiritual energy, so. I learned that when he was fighting Renji. So yay! Spirit energy back! <laughs> uh... That seems like a bad thing to happen. So they're getting training too. So they're getting ready to go with them. Ishita. Is he getting some training too? Even Chad's like, this is weird. Don't act like you don't care. You definitely do. Glowing box is interesting. So it's a bit of a blunt force training. <laughs> it's just like sitting on top of him.
Well, that's a little terrifying. It's a little ominous. <laughs> oh, a lot going on in that episode in terms of just like setting up the next stuff. I don't know why I get trouble saying stuff there. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad that Orihime and Chad are like finally exploring their abilities. Isn't Chad's, like, actual name, like, something else, though? Is it Seto? I'll have to look it up. If it is, though. <laughs> I'm gonna be like making bets about whether or not he's gonna survive and make it. Yeah, Chad's name is Sado, right? His actual name. Which I'm glad it's not Seto because that makes me think of Seto Kaiba from Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> and I would not be able to. Uh, take that seriously. <laughs> but yeah, we had, we have Orihime and Sado, Chad, um, who are finally getting some training. They're going to be exploring their abilities, I think in like parallel with Ichigo, figuring out his powers too. Um, I don't know how much of their training we're going to see because I feel like it's mostly going to focus on Ichigo because he's the main character of the story. We also had Ichigo getting his soul energy back the blunt force way, which seems to be how most people train a shonen protagonist. They just kind of throw them in and hope that they land on their feet. Uh, in this instance, he almost got punched in the face by a little girl. So, uh, he's got that back, but now his chain has been severed. So, we're on a bit of a tight schedule on him figuring out how to be a full Soul Reaper, which we knew he kind of wasn't because all of his power came from Rukia. He just kind of, like, borrowed her power and kind of skipped a bunch of steps on figuring out how to become a proper soul reaper, so he's definitely gonna have to figure out how to unlock his own ability for that on his own. I do think that Ishita is gonna come with them to the Soul Society, though. He might act like he isn't, but I think he's gonna do it. He seems like a compassionate person in general, but I think also he hates the idea of somebody being better at fighting than he is. Uh, he seems like a very like disciplined and, um, like, goal-oriented kind of a person. Maybe I'm speaking from personal experience, but he very much wants to perfect whatever he, in like, invests his time and energy in, and so I think that he very much wants to prove that he can at least be to par with the people that he's encountered that have gotten away from him. So, I think he's gonna go with them in the end. I think all of them are gonna go. I know that Orihime is kind of like on the fence about whether or not she's gonna go, but I think she definitely is. Uh, there's no way that she's just gonna not help out her friend. It doesn't seem like the kind of thing that she would do. I know she's probably scared, like she was talking about, but she's gonna go with them. There's no way she's not gonna do it for Rukia, and there's no way she's not gonna help out Ichigo. Uh, not that he'll ask for help, 
I think he'll be very much against anyone coming with him because he doesn't want anybody to get hurt. But I think he's going to need the help. Because there are more than a few Soul Reapers on the other side that are going to want to prevent him from helping out Rukia. I do like that we got to see some of like the Soul Society and some of the Soul Reapers and get their perspective because I really didn't want to like leave Rukia and like not get to see any of her side of that story. But I also just really want to explore more about what the Soul Society is before we get into like the full arc that's about that. Um, I hope that we get to learn a little bit more about her relationship with her brother. We did like a tiny bit in that there's been a really long time that there's been kind of this animosity between them. It was like 40 years or something. Um, so I hope that we get to learn more about who Rukia is and like her family and the soul reapers that she knows and maybe some of the training that she went through and stuff like that. But it was a funnier episode and I appreciate that. I appreciate something a little bit more comedic. Uraha usually brings a little bit of that comedic side to things. Uh, we didn't get to see Gon, which is surprising to me. What's he up to? What's he doing? Is he not gonna be with Ichigo for this? Is he not gonna come to the Soul Society? I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!